Then another question arises: How the wife is divorced? Yeah, when the husband can divorce the wife? In so far as Muslim law is concerned, there is no restriction on the husband to divorce his wife. He can divorce his wife on any ground. No specific ground is needed for granting or for divorcing the wife. But under the Muslim family law ordinance, he has to serve a notice of divorce to the union committee of the area where the wife resides, and after the completion of 90 days of the service of notice of talaq to the chairman, the talaq becomes effective. Otherwise, the talaq is not effective, and the wife gets the maintenance till such time the divorce becomes effective. If the husband marries marries second time without serving a notice or without waiting for 90 days, then he incurs the liability of an offence which is punishable under the Muslim family law ordinance and he will be not allowed to marry again. Insofar as the wife is concerned, she has every right of khula to demand khula from her husband on the ground that I hate my husband, I don't want to see his face and I am not in a position to live with him within the limits prescribed by God. A and that she is willing to forego her dawa. If paid, then she returns the dawa and other benefits which the husband has given. If she, if she fulfills this requirement, then the fula is granted and a decree for fula is necessary. But if a husband wants to divorce, or, but if the wife wants a divorce, not on the ground of fula, but on the ground of other uh, grounds which are available under the Muslim law, then she has to file a suit for divorce, in which the ground that she would be take, which she would take, would be cruelty, non-maintenance, or the husband is of an immoral nature and it is not possible for her to live with him. Then she has to prove all these facts and the court will then grant a divorce. Even during the period of divorce that period uh, does not take effect, he has to maintain his wife till the divorce is complete or till the dower is paid. Even if the husband dies and the dower is not paid, then out of the property of the husband, the legal heirs of that person has to make payment of the dower to their, uh, to their mother. And they cannot avoid the payment of dower in case the property of the deceased father is inherited by them. So, in so far as the question of the wife is concerned, she is fully protected under the Muslim law and nobody can say that the Muslim law does not protect the rights of the woman, of the wife is not true. And in the Western countries, it is alleged that the husband can divorce the wife and get he can marry three wives or four wives, which is true. But it does not mean that he can marry one wife and then desert her and get a second marriage or the third marriage or the fourth marriage. He has to support and maintain all the wives according to law properly without any discrimination and if any discrimination is made then the husband is liable for punishment in the world here and after. He will not be able to escape that punishment. So it is misnomer to say that in Islam husband has got full right to marry four wives without any obligation, without any providing any maintenance to the first, second or third wife, this is a misnomer. 
जो इन दिस वर्ल्ड एट प्रेजेंट इकोनॉमिक कंडीशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इज कंसर्न आई थिंक इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर एवरी मुस्लिम टू हैव मोर देन वन वाइफ एंड दैट इज द रीजन वाई मैरिजेस आर रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू वन वाइफ ओनली बट हु आर इन अ पोजिशन टू बेयर दी एक्सपेंसिज ऑफ टू और थ्री वाइफ 